Welcome to Steerman's On Tour, the channel that travels the length and breadth of the country to bring you the best in van conversions and tiny homes. Let's see what we've got in store for you today. This is Cat's van. Just tell us a little, just to, before we get into it, just tell us a little bit about, you've got like the, the, the little uh, pens the, at the back there yeah, for, the, yeah. for the cat. Okay, so obviously my life is with my cats, so I can't go anywhere without my cats. This van is a Ford Transit minibus, 2.4 diesel. And she came with a bed, but not much else and lots of things wrong with her. So I originally just put a catcher in the back so I can travel my cats and go around the country um, that was a very much a bodge job everything the furniture was bungeed in no no insulation or anything so, and said right okay I actually need some insulation because I was actually sort of when Covid came um, first lot there and I was living full-time right. with my cats work from it um, so this is where I've done the extension of the shop on the back the cat one of the cats got pregnant so I had to extend the cattery I designed the whole build so it was not the best space and obviously because I was living in it as well at the same time there was um, a, a bit of stuff to sort of work around yeah like I said the log burner was in situ and it had to be worked around that and uh, I just wanted a, a mini log cabin home from home and I was just so emotional and so grateful uh, still a work in progress I've been building her from ground up mechanically as well and spent a lot of time on her a lot of money spent um, with welding as well but she's my world and I love her I'd still be in here now living full time but the litter of cats I just had were nine so I've had to raise nine kittens inside um, I've yeah, kept three cats. which the three kittens are in the van at the moment and so they're being maybe trained to travel with us and walk on harness and everything and go around the country so they're that just at the stage cool. now where they're old enough to come inside and uh, start learning learning the ropes. So in there we have, in purple we have Cinderella, in yellow Cleopatra and in orange Caveman. <laughs> and they're all from my, my Savannah girl Connie. I have three Savannah cats which are proper wild cats and, and I basically, I need the countryside to be alive and I take my cats out into the wilderness and I'd give them as best a life as possible, as natural as possible and the last trip in this van was Scotland and Sky um, for a month and it was incredible. Cat flap and then when this door's shut there's, there's, actually, a, there's, a, there's step, actually a step a step that you jump on and they're going in and out through the cat flap. And there's a cat flap. And I'll open it up and let them come and go as they want to. On the van. Um, so the ones originally the two that were free running would come in and out of there and then the other ones the savannas have to be tethered and go on a lead all the time so they're actually have a nice little lead coming off the van and they're tethered out on a extendable lead and we go for walks and everything and again this is what i i've built this is a continuation of it obviously i've done all this extra spare window this i'm done with all the cat flap and the, and the desk the original desk so i put the extra window in because in the summer it was so hot yeah i needed to open the doors for the cats to have the air without escaping course, yeah. so i put this window in so this does open not from inside i say it was just a quick bodge job i didn't be in hugh car park this will come out so this will keep the doors open that will have a curtain across you can actually have a shower well shower okay. out here as well and then this table lifts up and this is my mobile shop so i can actually do have a fundraising shop at the back as well um then i also carry the awning as well on the back of the ladder so is that what that is there that's in there, a proper which, would just, which would just be the, the main shop with a table yeah. as well having the bed set here the day bed is absolutely fabulous i can now sit in there you can have visitors in there i can do therapy in there because i'm a healer so i do therapy sessions so that people can sit in the bed lie on the bed have a session have a cup of coffee 
in the front of the van, um, I've taken the passenger seat out because all the batteries and everything are on that seat and that's just an extra space again for all the cats to go to bed in and they also use the front of the van. They're, they're only travelled in a category when we're moving. Yeah. Okay, so when we're parked up, the doors get open and they then have the free run of the van. The entire van. Yeah. But look, I've got two 100 watt solar panels on top. Um, <laughs> Basically, it's very limited mod cons. I'm very much sort of a cave girl, so it's a loo bucket and solar power enough to charge my phone and my laptop with a, with a thing over there, wherever that thing is, <laughs> what it's called. An inverter. An inverter. <laughs> and then the other bit is up in front of the cup. So we've got one bit moved up there, and that would be moved up later. That's not working at the moment. So we still want to say work in progress. We ran out yeah, of yeah. sort of things. The batteries are under the front seat and they say this doubles up for cats to sit on. I've also got um, another box that the boys can carry, uh, travel with. So I can actually travel with the seven cats at the moment, but they can't live in here, you know. Yep. So basically it's just my little my little den that I share oh, with them. I love it. Um, obviously all the weird and wonderful things on the walls because I've worked dramatically. So that's why you've got a, a, a cat skin. <laughs> um, but it's obviously because and uh, dramatic feathers and things like that and pipes and everything I've worked very much uh, closely with Native American ways of uh, medicine and things like that and yeah and then I also did um, the front of the cupboards there's storage under there and to have storage under the bed with the diesel heater so I've got the heater and the log burner obviously I've got the backs on this but I can't fit everything in and then just got a storage way around, way around and it was enough for me to enjoy yeah and and the look and the energy is just it really is. It's like a Pandora's box. <laughs> it's definitely a Pandora's <laughs> box. Well, it was definitely a different van tour. I've never seen a cattery inside a van, and cat, by her, by her own admissions, is one cat short of crazy. Um, but this is a fairly crazy van, and I'm really glad that we popped in to see it and the cats that came with it. If you've enjoyed that van tour video and you'd like to see some more, I'm going to drop a link, uh, another video for you to watch a completely different van and a completely different person. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video.